Alex has a mitochondrial disorder, it's causes dystonia, it has quite a lot of complexities around his condition. He spends the majority of his time in his wheelchair. He has a severe hearing loss, so he has a cochlear implant. Well done, keep going Alex, that's it. His tone, it does become a bit of a barrier when accessing his education. Lovely Alex. When I talk about tone, I'm talking about when Alex's muscles spasm so much and his body will become really tense. His muscles are constantly working. Times when he's got high tone and he can try and manage it himself and we encourage that by breathing, slowing things down, talking him through it, trying to get to the root of what he's anxious about because if he's worried or cross about something, his tone will get quite high in spots in that as well. Alex is going up to sixth form. Alex, he really shines in his resilience and he just wants to take part. He's always got that, I, I can do this, I want to do this. OK, you need to breathe. Good boy. He's such an engaging young man. As time has gone on, I've spent more time with him individually as well and we work much more specifically around his communication skills. So he uses a communication book which he accesses with his foot and he's absolutely amazing. He knows it so well that he doesn't actually need to look at the pages to know where he's pointing. Show me again, please. People. It's a bit like a dictionary, so it has categories of words on different pages and a contents page at the front so he can select what page he wants to use. It really has become a book that he is keen and enthusiastic to use and, and can use to talk about so many different things. Sammy and Ella, you asking what class they're going to be in? Alex is a delightful young man. We help manage his postural and physical needs, really, and that's 24-7. That's not just in the daytime, that's day and night. Overnight, he needs the support of a CPAP machine to support his breathing, and that's related to his tone, so he has obstructive sleep apnea. Yoga, for him, it's part of like an activity participation. It's a change of position, it's out of his chair, it's all the things about following instruction, following a group activity. It's the body experiencing different movement patterns, really, to help manage his tone and just general physical well being. Okay, you do it, that's it, well done, well done, that one. Alex is a classic example of a, quite a very different style of driving that you wouldn't normally see. You know, most students use a joystick of some sort, but being actually quite proficient with his lower limbs, we've obviously done a lot of modification of wiring, which installed a bracket three with some switches on his feet, which we're just about to look into. So he's actually got left and right mouse click on his foot, so he can actually Bluetooth onto a PC and use those switches as left and right clicks. Alex has actually come a really long way since he first joined. The first week, his anxieties were so high, his tone was through the roof. And then when I compare him to where he is now, I think he's a completely different young man. He wants to talk about his friends. It's been really interesting to see how he's come out of his shell and started interacting with them. Ollie's doing it too. Ollie's doing it. Ollie's looking at your book. I think having that independence will really help him flourish. It completely blows me away, the transformation.